So hi, LCL community. This week we were supposed to make some instructions to show how to do something. So what I'm going to do is show how to create organic shapes in SketchUp and to print them to a 3D printer. I, SketchUp obviously isn't Scratch, and but it does share some characteristics. It's very easy to use. It's free, has a strong community um, surrounding it. And it has a place to share the things that you create, the SketchUp 3D warehouse. So um, let's see how this is done. So what I'm going to do is first create a rectangle. Then I'm going to put it into a block. And uh, I'm just going to make some quick modifications to it to make so that the organic shape we make is a little bit more interesting. Than uh, so some of the things I can do here are reshape this, and then I could rotate that on that angle, and I'm going to pull that out again, and I'll just twist this a bit. Right. Okay, so we have there a, this is called the proxy for the eventual shape. And it's important to note that if it, there are no internal divisions to this, this is just a shell. Uh, and that's what you want. Um, so you can always hide a face like I did and look inside to make sure that you don't have any internal divisions. Uh, so I'll put that back. Then you just uh, click on the face and you choose the subdivide and smooth tool, which is this tool from the Artisan tool set. Now Artisan is a, is a plugin uh, for SketchUp that's made by a guy named Dale Martins. It's not free, but it's not expensive. And it, uh, it's, a, it's a great plugin that does some amazing things. So if you want to work with organic shapes in SketchUp, this is definitely a plugin that you're going to want to get. So. Um, so we're going to click here, and it starts to subdivide and smooth the shape, the proxy shape. And you can determine the number of iterations. You really, uh, if you go over three, it's going to take a while for the computer to calculate all of them. So I'm just going to go with three in this case. Hit return again to lock that in. And now it takes a second to actually calculate um, to rebuild the shape with um, this new geometry. And uh, there are a bunch of other tools, sculpting tools in Artisan, which I'm not going to go over now, but they give you a great deal of flexibility on um, modifying uh, these organic shapes. So uh, let me just show you the hidden geometry here. So what Artisan does is it builds the, the shape out of these polygons um, that it is subdivided and smoothed that original rectangular blocky shape into. Okay, so uh, I'm going to come over now to some shapes that I made previously. These are the proxy shapes. And then these are the subdivided and smoothed shapes from those. And as you can see, they're made up of lots and lots of very small polygons to give them that smoothness. And then I've placed them on a plinth <coughs> here. Um, and now what I'm going to do is use a free um, plugin, uh, export STL, which you can get. You just Google STL, export STL SketchUp, and you'll, you'll get this. Um, it works really well. Uh, oops, I forgot to select the objects that I want to export. So those are the objects. It's going to take a second to select all of those because of all of the thousands of polygons in these two shapes. But in just a second, those will be selected. Okay, and now I can export to STL. I'm going to call this figures, 
.stl. And in a second, it will pop up this dialog box. So 30,440 faces were exported in this STL file. Now, I'm going to use the MakerWare software that MakerBot supplies with their printer. And I'm going to add a file. There's that figures STL file. And it brings it on and it places it on this representation of the build plate. Uh, oops, just like that. I'm just going to move that over and sort of to the center of the build plate. There we go. And I could you know, just look and make sure that that is where I want it. So this is about three inches across and you don't want to make, I've, I found that, that uh, for a number of reasons, time and uh, issues related to um, uh, warping of the of the plastic. Uh, you don't want to make shapes that are too big. Uh, at least I haven't figured out how to do that yet. So having done that, we have it where we want it. I'm going to click Make. Um, I'm not going to do any, change anything here. Do Export. I will export it to there, and I'm going to call it Figures and save. And as you can see down here, the software is dividing the shape into lots of thin slices and, uh, and building a file that the printer can understand. And as soon as that's done, I'm going to stop and take this to the printer and we'll pick it up in a bit from there. So here we are at the 3D printer. And it's ready to go. I've moved the SD card over, plugged it in. We're at this screen. So I can show you that. I'm going to build from SD and figures. And the build plate comes up. And the uh, it's going to take a bit for the extruder to heat up, so I'm going to stop this now. And uh, continue when it actually starts printing. The extruder head is heated to 230 degrees centigrade or will be in a second and uh, you can see a little bit of the material start to be extruded from the extruder head as it heats up. Brings up, brings up the build plate Begun the process. So now it's laying down what it calls the raft, which is a, I don't know, about a 60th of an inch um, uh, bed that it will print the actual model on. And the, the raft helps the model adhere to the surface. That's just an option within the Megabot software. So I'm going to stop here until uh, it gets going a little bit more with the model. So here you can see the, the four shapes are starting to take shape. Um, we're about 46% done uh, with the model. And uh, the extruder head is just slowly building up each of those shapes. So we'll come back when it's finished. So we're almost done with printing. We're at 98%. So we'll see. Just watch it finish up here. It makes fun noises. 98%. It just has a few more passes to do. And in each of these passes, we're printing one of the slices of the model that I made earlier.
cool. So that's it. From 3D model to 3D printed object in a very short, very easy process. Thanks for watching.